All right, so test coverage, also known as code coverage, is used to measure the percent of your code base covered by a test. So in other words, coverage keeps track of which lines in your code base were ex executed during a test run. The idea being if the line was executed during the test run, then it was covered by your, by your test suite. And high coverage means that your code base is heavily tested and in theory has a lower chance of containing bugs. Now keep in mind that coverage testing only checks whether or not a test is present. It does not check the quality of the test. That is largely up to you. All right, so let's go ahead and install coverage. So let's activate our virtual environment and then pip install coverage and it looks like I already had that installed let me just upgrade it just to be sure I have the latest version cool so actually before we set up coverage let's go ahead and add a command to our manage.py file to run our normal tests so manage.py So we can say at manager.command and let's call this function test. I'll put in a little comment here. Just runs the test without coverage. So the variable here test, set this equal to unit test test loader and we'll use the method discover make sure we import unit test now we can say unit test dot text test runner We'll set our verbosity equal to two, dot run, and then we'll pass a test. This is actually unit test, okay. So here we're using this discover method to search the current directory to basically find methods that begin with the word test. And these are obviously gonna come from our test.py file. So even though all of our tests are located in that single file, we will be moving this into a separate module in the future. So this discovery feature will come in handy. And the text test runner is just a basic runner. And we specify a verbosity of two to show which tests pass as the test runner is running. And for more on this, be sure to check out the Python unit test documentation. And I'll include a link to this within the, the show more section of the uh, YouTube video. Okay, so let's go ahead and run our tests now. So we can say python manage.py and then test. So I'm getting an error here. Object has no attribute create parser. I think what's going on here is I don't need to say add command I think I just need to say command and test loader the L is capitalized okay alright so it ran however all our tests fail so why is that so if we open up our models.py file, you can see within the under other init method, within the blog post class, that we are now actually requiring an author, which we changed last time. So let's go ahead and update our base test case. So let's move this after we add the user 
and then there's our author. So let's try running that now. Cool, so they all pass. Okay, so with that, let's go ahead and add on coverage. And again, we can add a command to manage.py. Now for the sake of time, I'm just going to grab this code from the repository, discoverflask.com, manage.py. And I need to import coverage. So here we're creating an instance of coverage. And then we start measuring the code with the start method. The tests run like normal. And then we stop measuring the code and then save the results to a file. And then we also output the results to the screen. And for more on this, be sure to consult the coverage API. And I believe you can get that from api.html. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and run coverage. So Python manage.py coverage. And so you can see a quick snapshot of the overall coverage on the screen here. But again, the coverage tool also provides a much more detailed coverage report, which got saved to this coverage directory. So let's go ahead and open up this directory. and then open up the uh, index.html file. And here you can see the modules included in the coverage analysis. So let's drill down on, for example, the uh, project home views. Now you can see each statement and whether it is or isn't covered by a test. So now we know where we should focus our time on with regard to writing tests. And you also want to add that coverage folder to the gitignore file. Okay, so coverage is a powerful tool. And just keep in mind that the goal is not necessarily to reach 100% coverage. It's a balance between having high coverage and high quality tests. So when you do get your coverage above, say, 70%, go back and start refactoring your tests. Maybe you missed something, or maybe a test is, is doing something different than intended. In the end, testing is more of an art than a science, and it takes much practice to get good at it. So I urge you to practice on your own. Next time, we will focus solely on testing, so be sure to make use of the coverage tool to find areas that need tests and write them on your own, and then compare them to my tests. Good luck.